Maybe very, we have very few people coming in currently, about 11. Uh, we will wait for about two, three minutes before we start uh, our first, our week seven machine learning papers reading club uh, organized by Women in AI Asia Pacific. Okay, I guess uh, we can start now. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us in Saturday night. And then, like, today's uh, the 10th of Women in AI Malaysia to host the Machine Learning Papers Reading Club. So, I'm your moderator, Fariza Mira Bidi Hamzah, the ambassador for Women in AI Malaysia. So, I know we have, like, for Malaysia that just joined in. We just finished, like, finally finished our, like, we already get our... Prime Minister of the 10th Prime Minister. So let's take it aside because I think like today's paper is also very interesting paper that maybe you can use it in later, like whether if you want to uh, understand how the social media works and everything. So let me just introduce a little bit about Women in AI. So who, who, who are we? So we are, our main goal is we wanted to create an environment where women own the stage and present present inspiring ideas. Meaning that we want to have like a very inclusive society, regardless of like who are you, whether you are males or you or you are females, especially in this country, especially in the Asia Pacific region, and of course in the world. So we are a non-profit do tank, which is like we working toward inclusive AIs that benefits global society. We are a community-driven initiative bringing empowerment knowledge and active collaboration via education, research, events, and blogging. So we empower women, but today we have a male speaker that is going to talk about uh, to talk on this paper. So no worries about that. Mm. So Women in AI was founded in 2016 in Paris, France uh, by Dr. Hanan Salam, uh, Caroline Lair, and Mujen Ashkari. So until today, we have like more than 8,000 people joining us in 140 countries. So become a member, uh, you may scan this QR code and become a member of Women in AI, regardless of who you are, whether you are female or males, join us. Okay. Thank you very much for those who are joining in. So we have started from week one, the orientation and keynote. And then in week two, we have a zero short learning through cross-model transfer that was like, I think, delivered uh, by Women in AI Australia, I think. Introduction to ROC analysis. I think the week three is Australia. Okay. Uh, and then like in week four, we, uh, in week five, we have like learning from imbalanced data. And week seven, we have annotations, learning from imbalanced data. And then in this week seven, we are going to have abusive common, common identification on Indonesian social media data using hybrid learning. And we have three more weeks to go. And next week we'll have will also be hosted by Women in AI Malaysia that is going to be presented by Dr. Sharifah Sakina from UTEM. So this is the week one, our BOD of International Society of Chief Data Officers. And then the next one, we have uh, Dr. Karibeth Cheng that uh, reading on this paper, Zero Short Learning Through Cross Model Transfer. Week three, we have introduction to ROC analysis, Angela Kim. Uh, she's also our uh, Chief of Education 
uh, for women in AI, Chief Education Officer. And then we have uh, Adversarial AI, Class Distance Hardening by Name Yat Mint from the Singapore Management University. The next one we have Tuya Kao, the developer of Focket of Google Cloud, learning from imbalanced data. And then the week six, week seven, we have the, and today we are going to have the week seven, abusive comment identification on Indonesian social media data using hybrid deep learning. So let me just introduce a little bit who is our speaker. Our speaker is uh, Fridaus, Muhammad Fridaus bin Muhammad Khairi. So she is, he is basically, he's uh, currently a master of artificial intelligence in University Kebangsaan Malaysia, which is like National University of Malaysia. And her master thesis are uh, mostly on uh, head speech detection, natural language processing. So I would say he's quite proficient on this field. So let's see, let's hear from him, but let's hear from him. Uh, I think like Fidaus, are you ready to give your paper reading? Uh, yeah. Fidaus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so the floor is yours. Uh, uh, hello, hi uh, everybody. Uh, uh, good evening. Okay, uh, firstly, I want to introduce myself. Uh, myself um, my name is, uh, like uh, Dr. Faroza introduced, is Muhammad Fedas bin Muhammad Khairi. Uh, firstly, uh, can you all hear my voice? Yes, can. All right, okay, thanks. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, currently, uh, I'm a master student uh, at the uh, UKM, University National of Malaysia, UKM Bangi. Uh, currently doing in... Um, uh, artificial intelligence uh, master uh, specifically uh, in uh, my research area is uh, to uh, detect uh, hate speech uh, hate speech in uh, media social which is um, my focus is on deep learning uh, and so on um, i will uh, share with you all uh, about uh, this paper uh, actually this this paper also have a co uh, correlate with my research also uh, Actually, uh, uh, Dr. Faroza asked uh, asking me to share uh, the uh, the paper. Actually, I have uh, two paper, uh, but I choose uh, this paper because uh, the the another paper uh, we have a uh, uh, much abuse abusive uh, text and uh, text, which is I I feel is maybe uh, can uh, give a negative impact. So. This uh, paper is a uh, more like uh, paper uh, to introduce uh, with you all. Okay, uh, okay. Let uh, me share my uh, slide first. Okay, uh, as I mentioned by Dr. Faroza, uh, the, the paper title is uh, Abusive Comment Identification uh, on Indonesia Social Media Data use Using Hybrid uh, Deep Learning. Okay, and uh, actually this paper is uh, writing or the researcher is uh, uh, Tiara Intianasari from Indonesia, Zalfa Natanya Adila, also from uh, University of Muhammadiyah Malang, Indonesia. Uh, Nur Hayatin, also from University Muhammadiyah Malang, Indonesia. And uh, the last is uh, Ruhaila Maska. Uh, this researcher is from a uh, Faculty of Computer uh, Mathematical Science, University of Jimara, uh, Malaysia. Okay. Okay, firstly, this paper uh, is proposed to identify abusive comment from social media in Indonesia uh, language use, using a deep learning approach. Uh, okay, as I mentioned uh, firstly before, uh, my research is uh, hate, speech, hate, hate speech detection, which is they have uh, several different uh, definition, which is the if this uh, paper just focus on uh, abusive uh, comment, which is uh, from the definition, epistemic is just random, maybe uh, focus on uh, 
team or what the current event happen but uh, uh, my research uh, on the hate speech detection uh, the definition of hate speech detection is uh, the sentences or the the hate speech uh, sentences must have must have um, must have um, people or some targeted uh, people where the the hate speech uh, is a go to okay but the uh, abc comment is like uh, many uh, pe- many words uh, also can uh, can also define as uh, abc comment okay in this paper uh, the uh, the researcher is combined between two algorithm first is uh, rnn or recurrent neural neural network and second is a uh, long short term uh, memory or lstm okay uh, later i will explain the, the different uh, the uh, advantage or and the disadvantage of uh, between this this algorithm okay second is uh, rnn uh, no okay uh, sec, uh, these people also uh, we can um, know about the 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 different or why the combination of the uh, two algorithm uh, can uh, can give a, a good result to to detect the abc command okay uh, okay rn, RN uh, is can uh, can uh, input sequence uh, feed vector or on hidden vector which is in this uh, uh, this contact is a uh, word okay and, and then the lstm also uh, uh, L, the algorithm can implement to appro- to overcome the gradient vector gross component which is this uh, uh, this advantage of RN, rnn uh, when the many uh, word coming uh, or the text is coming to we evaluate or we to detect uh, the the abc command uh, the result will become uh, dec- uh, decrease, which is that's uh, uh, the the problem of gradient uh, vector growth. Okay, in this paper, uh, they are using the data set, which is uh, we can we can find this data set uh, in uh, Kaggle. The total of the data set is about um, one hundred thousand. 31 uh, and 169 tweets. Okay, the the data is uh, labeled by two label. First is uh, abusive and uh, second is non abusive. Okay, actually this data is not in, uh, is not balanced. Okay, the the, the distribution data. The related in this uh, research is uh, not in imbal- uh, is imbalanced. So, the researcher uh, using the oversampling techniques uh, to overcome the imbalance uh, problem. Okay, we can see from this slide, uh, thirty eight percent of the data is uh, abusive. Okay, and uh, the balance of the data is labeled as non abusive which is uh, the total is 62 percentage uh, so the total of the uh, data is uh, uh, we can see there uh, 131,169 uh, data okay for this uh, in this paper they are using several uh, pre-processing uh, technique for process the, the text data. Uh, first, they're using the case uh, for folding, uh, filtering, uh, tokenizing, sequencing. Uh, sorry, I have a duplicate uh, the, the, the box there. Okay. And then uh, they're using the lower case conversion, uh, functional function removal. Uh, stop word removal and st- uh, and stemming okay uh, at the at the we can see the, at the right uh, box there uh, which is the the lower case conversion uh, puncture punctuation removal removal uh, stop word removal and stemming is the uh, several technique they are using in the NLP technique to uh, to uh, what we can say to we can extract 
the 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 real the real meaning or the what the real meaning that we want to research uh, because uh, se- uh, in several type of uh, word or the the structure of the the sentences uh, many researchers said we we didn't uh, have to use uh, the the word uh, uh, such as like uh, the such as like to and uh, the, the several uh, word we can uh, remove by stop word removal uh, removal technique okay uh, the another one is a uh, function removal like uh, apostrophe uh, uh, the, the dot and so on also uh, didn't give any meaning to to our sentences okay uh, for we can see the 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 right uh, uh no the left the left the, the left walk here such as the uh, tokenizing and sequencing uh, this is a technique that using uh specifically uh in the deep learning technique uh, which is uh as we know uh, the the machine cannot understand uh, the word uh, the word, uh, the word in the uh, um, in the human language uh, the word must be first uh, tokenizing which is the convert the word uh, from the from the uh, human language to the uh, vector or to the numerical uh, uh, numerical uh, form okay and then for the sequencing uh, technique uh, we use because we want to uh, input or we want, we want to push the data uh, by sequence into our machine learning or our algorithm okay okay this is a, a technique or the pipe, uh, pipe, uh, pipeline that uh, using by this uh, researcher uh, all the researcher from this paper okay uh, I also using uh, some several technique uh, here uh, to uh, in my research okay uh, first uh, we can see there we have a the mining data from uh, twitter and so on we can have uh what we call the the the, the t uh, data set lah, okay such as we have a, a rt uh, hyperlink uh, maybe the html part and um we have uh, uh, some some uh, several several sign that we uh, didn't use in our data uh, or text processing later. Okay, so from the 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 the, the T data set, we must uh, processing uh, as I as I mentioned uh, before, we, we use uh, several technique uh, like uh, uh, stop removal, uh, sequencing vector and so on. Okay, and then after after the data uh, processing have been has been processed uh, now the the the, sec, the the next step is we uh, in this paper uh, the researcher uh, using the data uh, splitting uh, technique to uh, to to make um, to divide uh, data into the two section first is uh, train data and second is to is a uh, uh, test data okay uh, Okay, uh, I will uh, show after this the the uh, this the split or the, the the portion that using this uh from uh this or using uh, by this researcher in this uh paper. Okay, uh, okay. After that, uh, the the train data that have been uh trained. Uh, I uh, know. Uh, okay. You 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 all can see. Uh, first the train uh, data will be input to the model. Which is in this case, the model is hybrid. Uh, the the, uh, the this resist, this resistor is uh, combined uh, RNN and LSTM model. Okay, and then for the the test data, uh, the data will also input uh, into the this model and uh, make the model uh, validation. Uh, uh, output okay and then uh, the the output or the evaluation of the 
this data can be model uh, or we can uh, get from the uh, in this paper uh, the ratio is used for coefficient metric which is the coefficient metric uh, we'll uh, we can get the output in, in uh, four type first uh, accuracy uh, precision uh, recall and f measure okay actually uh, um, in my research also i using the the same uh, technique to to test or to evaluate uh, my model so okay in this paper uh, like i just uh, mentioned uh, before uh, the this researcher is splitting the data into the two portion uh, first is uh, the data training uh, in 80 percent uh, and then oh sorry uh, second is um test yeah uh, test uh, for a uh, data test not the visual test uh for this uh, uh for the test uh, data test okay for data testing um uh, uh we we will uh, input or we will put the the new data to test the our uh how uh, performance is our uh the, the model the model performance okay uh, about in 20 percent okay the process involves uh, dividing data into the two set of training and testing the data is divided by two proportion uh 80 percent data is for training set and 30 percent data is for the testing set okay then uh, with the total number of a train uh, data being is uh, 6501 for non-abusing uh, data and uh, 6,000 uh, 6, oh. and for the test data is about uh, uh, 1,625 uh, 26 uh, data for uh, which is uh, the, 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 the different is uh, first for training data and second is for test data Okay, now uh, I try to share with you uh, 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 about the, the the deep learning uh, part, this, uh, which is uh, using in this uh, research. Okay, uh, first um, uh, we know the 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 uh, basic or the uh, the model deep learning that are uh, always been used, or the traditional mo uh, model uh, for deep learning is uh, neural network. Uh, okay. Which is, uh, I, I believe all of uh, we are now the neural network uh, consists of a different layer which is a connected uh, uh, by layer uh, to to what we can uh, what we say uh, they were to try to copy or to uh, to copy uh, the function of a human brain a uh, function okay it's learn it's learn from huge uh, data and use the complex algorithm to train a neural a net okay okay uh in this paper uh like we know uh they uh the research use R R N N and ls lstm okay now i will share with you all uh, why the researcher is uh, using or the com uh, the combine uh two of uh, two uh, algorithm here okay first um actually uh R R R N N is good uh uh for uh using uh or for repeat repetitive uh data okay uh but uh the 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 basic or the features of the uh sentences uh like we know is not uh it's not uh one by one we not said uh, just A or B or C or apple uh, or ball or car, but the sentences is consists of uh, several words, okay? The, and then the several word, uh, the several word uh, make make uh, or the, uh, make a sentences. But for the text, we have a many uh, text, okay? Uh, we have we have many sentences to get a text such as like a paper like uh such as or email the 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 the, 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 co the content for email is consists from several texts okay so uh, r r r n n uh, cannot um 
cannot process uh, so in many data so the um the disadvantage of uh, rnn is uh, this models cannot uh, handle sequence data uh, this data just consider only the current input okay uh, then uh the, the, this model also cannot uh, mem memorize the previous input okay okay this uh this uh uh the algorithm or the, the basic or the graphic to make uh, us to easy to comprehend, comprehend or understand understand uh, the algorithm okay first uh, the input layer uh, x uh, in this case we can say uh, the 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 sentences lah x is uh, word okay takes in the input to the neural network and process it and pass into the middle uh, layer okay the middle layer h h uh, we consider they have a multiple hidden or not uh, this uh, this in this layer lah, which is um, the calculation uh, will happen here okay okay uh, and then uh, the, the the y uh, is the output okay you you, you can see if you have um, uh, several sentences if we have just uh, like this uh, algorithm they cannot um, um, predict or we, uh, the 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 model is cannot understand actually the context of the text okay that's the disadvantage of R and R and N okay okay uh, okay therefore uh, researcher uh, found uh, the way to overcome R R R R R and N problem okay the uh, the researcher uh, not not this researcher lah the the other researcher found uh, the LSTM uh, model uh, to overcome the R R R N N problem okay <clears throat> actually the the long short term memory or uh, or LSTM actually also, uh, also the uh, the type of R R N N but uh, the researcher um, uh, we call the make some innovation to the R R R R N. Uh, they put uh, uh, several uh, gate or several uh, uh, technique uh, to make uh, R R R R N N have um, a more higher uh, memory power lah to remember the output is not to more extend the period to produce the outcome for the next not uh, efficiently means uh, 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 LSTM can pro can process the the long uh, text uh, which is develop uh, the sentences okay and then LSTM also uh, deal the problem of the uh, RNN uh, which we, I just said before the vanishing and exploding gradient uh, problem okay and say uh, and lastly um, to understand the true meaning of sentences the sentences must be understood as a whole the co where the context of the sentences usually depend on long-term depend dependencies uh, dependencies okay they are dependencies which is r r r r r r and n uh, have a problem there the the r and n cannot uh, process uh, the long term uh, dependencies because the the algorithm or the uh, the way r r n process is not tackle uh, long word or long um uh, long sequence uh, uh, problem okay Okay, uh, maybe this graphic I uh, can uh, make uh, us uh, more easy to understand. Okay, uh, the left the left side is just R uh, R and N, and then the researcher uh, found uh, the way how, how the uh, LSTM can overcome the problem uh, that had happened in uh, R R and N, which is uh, we can see uh, the algorithm there. They innovate and have uh, many. 
uh, not uh, duplicate duplication there, which is uh, 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 put the time there to make the sequence. We can use the uh, R R N N as long as we want. We can we can decide. Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, this uh, diagram or this uh, graphic uh, can make us uh, more understand about the LSTM. Okay, uh, this is uh, the, the the last part or the result of the the this model that they're using by this uh, several uh, researcher to uh, identification or to detect the uh, abusive comment in the in Indonesian social media. Okay, uh, okay. First, we can see there. Uh, the pro the first problem is the data is uh, not uh, balanced. The data is uh, imbalanced, so they are using the oversampling and over oversampling technique to overcome this problem. You can see uh, if the uh, the data is not uh, implemented with this uh, uh, oversampling uh, uh, to to balance the data. We can see the precision recall and F1 score is uh, is below compare after the the uh, imbalance techniques is in, is in, uh, is apply. Okay, we can see the, all the uh, the result uh, above uh, 90 90 percent. Okay, which is we can uh, consider is a uh, high uh, accurate. Okay, and then uh, this uh, all. And then the researcher also uh, make a comparison uh, from the previous method, which is they are using this uh, this several paper to make uh, as a benchmark uh, data, okay? To match, uh, benchmark paper to uh, to see it, uh, either their uh, theory or their uh, model is, uh, is is much better than previous uh, method. Okay, uh, you can see from the table of four, uh, the, the previous um, uh, researcher uh, using uh, NB or uh, Nye Bayes uh, with uh, word enigram. Uh, okay, then also uh, naive Bayes with unigram and bigram and naive Bayes with uh, three gram uh, and quad, quad gram. Okay, we can see the the result there, uh, average is uh, uh, in 80%, uh, 80 percent, and the lastly, which is the the methodology or the uh, the model that have been uh, using uh, in this paper is RNN and LSTM uh, with uh, over simple uh, over method. The accuracy uh, or the F1 score. Uh, is about uh, ninety four percent, which is uh, higher compare the benchmark uh, or the or the previous um, paper. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I uh, we 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 have uh, uh, at the now we at the the last uh, uh, last uh, my pre my last uh, presentation. Okay, uh, from uh, this uh, pre presentation, uh, this paper. Uh, 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 as I uh, read, okay, uh, this paper is not using several techniques that uh, also you uh, are using uh, in uh, several paper that I also read, okay. This paper not using the um, uh, weight embedding technique, which is the the, uh, the the technique is to represent word or the represent meaning in the uh, vector vector or the hierarchy in the uh, uh, in the vocabulary that using by many uh, prominent uh, researcher uh, also uh, maybe uh, this paper can be uh, uh, can be enhanced or can be uh, a further study uh, for the research uh, using uh, several emerging such as uh, word to vec uh, 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 apa uh, word to vec, a uh, glove, and so on. Uh, so there, the, there are several uh, word embedding that uh, uh, I know uh, that using by several uh, 
um, researcher. And also, uh, I not mention here uh, the 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 latest technique in the NLP or the in the deep learning uh, is uh, like uh, bird technique, uh, robeta, and so on. Maybe uh, uh, we can uh, the researcher can uh, enhance or can uh, use this technique uh, to to this paper in the further research. Um, okay, now I. Uh, give back uh, this uh, uh, this uh, presentation to Dr. Faroza. Uh, lastly, I uh, uh, thank you uh, again uh, to for women uh, in the eye to inviting for inviting me uh, to share uh, what what my research and what the the paper I use in my research also as a reference as a reference. Uh, and I also hope I can uh, learn learn much more. Uh, from you all. Uh, thank you again and I give back to uh, Dr. Faroza. Okay, thank you very much uh, Fedaus uh, for your nice presentation, for preparing the slides. I guess like maybe uh, you can uh, share the link of the paper inside the chat function. Yeah, of course. Okay, so now we are going to open to the Q&A question and answer session. So if you have any question, feel free to uh, speak up, just uh, unmute your mic or maybe like write up in the chat. Okay. Uh, in the in the meantime, while waiting for the others uh, to prepare questions, like maybe to ask questions to you, like let me ask the questions about this paper to you. Okay. First of all, because like this title of the paper, they have hybrid deep learning, right? So what is actually the meaning of hybrid deep learning? We have machine learning, we have deep learning. So they are just combining RNN and LSTM. So is it? This is the meaning of the hybrid deep learning in this paper. Uh, okay. Uh, as I as I mentioned be, uh, before, actually uh, this uh, this uh, algorithm is different R R N N and uh, L S T M. So this uh, in this paper, the researcher uh, prove uh, the uh, maybe the researcher also must uh, give the result. Uh, what the result if the R R N N and L S T M is uh, divide to? Okay, uh, and then we can see. Uh, why the uh, this researcher uh, using uh, use the hybrid uh, uh, the hybrid uh, methodology? Okay, the hybrid methodology um, uh, is in simple word is we combine several uh, algorithm algorithm. Uh, that's the the simple word lah. The uh, why is the hybrid also and, and then and uh, my comment uh, there. I repeat again. Maybe the this uh, paper uh, the researcher must uh, use uh, must show. Uh, the the result if they are using a different uh, algorithm uh, or the they they divide the, the algorithm so we can see and then there we can see lah uh, how good or what the the different uh, result we can uh, get f uh, if we using hybrid or we not using the not non hybrid technique. Yes, I do agree with you on this. Okay, we have one question from the participants. Would you mind explain what is unigram, bigram, quadram? Uh, quadram is something new to me, thanks. Yes, I'm also not really familiar with NLP, but in my current job scope, I'm using NLP a lot. So I'm also like, I try to understand what is unigram, bigram, and quadram, but I don't really understand about that. So it would be very nice if you can help us to understand what is unigram, bigram, and quadram. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, we we have um, a technique uh, to 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 uh, what we say uh, uh, to reduce to reduce the sorry sorry hello. Without you are freezing actually, but we can still hear you. Froze. Hello. Oh, I guess I guess he's still freezing. He's froze already. I think like uh, let's wait for a while. Uh, before I think like he might need to connect or reconnect back again. So, in my current job, like we just focus on English. We don't really do uh, other languages. Even though like there's also Mandarin, Arabic, uh, Indian, 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 Tamil, Hindi, whatsoever, and then Malay is uh, but then. It doesn't really increases the difficulty because every languages they have their own syntax. 
Meaning that how you want to identify that this language, like this sentence is a good sentence or not. Like for example, I live in Malaysia for about 12 years or like live in Malaysia, something like that, right? So it's not really increase the difficulty. Every languages have their own difficulties. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's continue on the unigram, bigram and quadgram. Uh, hello, Fidos. I think like I can hear you. Speaker, microphone, maybe. Hello. Ah, okay, can. Okay, sorry. Ah, uh, sorry, everyone. Ah, uh, my laptop ah uh, uh, suddenly also hang. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, uh, let me uh, introduce ah uh, uh, explain uh, again about the ah uh, unigram, bigram, so on. Actually, the the this the uh, technique. Uh, is uh, used uh, to for we uh, mining or we for uh, or, you, or for we process the the data. The data consists of um, uh, very big um, uh, data, and we must uh, reduce uh, the we call uh, the dimension of the data. Uh, uh, this technique uh, using uh, without losing the the actually many of data so we using uh, this uh, uh, te uh reducing technique uh, this uh, to reduce the dimensional dimension of the data uh, okay uh, the, the the unigram and uh, two gram and so on is the one technique uh, from the many technique can we, we can use uh, in this uh, reducing the uh, dim dimension of data uh, specifically in this uh, context is uh, for N uh, nlp lah Okay, uh, in maybe in the 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 mathematics uh, and other uh, the the other that other type of the data we using the different technique. Okay, okay. Okay, so yeah. basically, gram meaning weight is something like when you have like for example the words of uh let's say one words lah. I live in Malaysia. So how much is it like unigram, bigram, quadgram? Like you partition it something like that. Okay, uh, four, four, one, four, one gram means is a one, one word sequence. Lah. Okay, we can, we can, we can, uh, 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 what, what your synthesis is now? Sorry. Uh, I live in Malaysia. Okay, I live in Malaysia. Okay, for one gram, I is one, uh, live, uh, is one, and Malaysia is, uh, one gram. If, uh, two gram, I live is, uh, two gram. Uh, leave Malaysia is another two gram. Okay, if yeah, if uh, three gram, uh, I live I live in is uh for one part of uh, three gram, and and the other the the the, the rest is ad, another part of the three gram. Uh, so that's that's the uh, simple uh, uh, example lah, doctor. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, explaining it very well. So another next question. So this one I already answered it just now, but you can also answer this. Does certain language increases the difficulty of NLP processing? Uh, pardon, can you... Uh, Does certain repeat? language increase uh, the difficulty of NLP processing? Okay, this uh, is the uh, best part of the, <laughs> the, the NLP. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, my my motivation first uh, i i want to focus in uh, nlp before is i want to make prediction uh, on the um the, the the medical text actually okay and then after i uh, involved in nlp uh, uh, part uh, now uh, i know the the nlp is a uh, uh, very hard because the 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 the, the several uh, challenge is um uh is uh the uh the ambiguity of the the language uh the ambiguity we cannot we cannot say uh, exactly what the the meaning or what the actually uh, uh meaning uh for some uh, for some people say to us and such as uh, uh meme memes uh patrol and so on so if we as a human also have a difficulty to to detect uh, if uh, is there she said the true meaning or she, she or he just troll me kan uh, so 
this also happen to the 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 NLP part okay of uh, uh, english have a very uh, many vocabulary that uh, that have been developed by other researcher uh, but the, the 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 hard part is when we using in the uh, local language such as uh, Uh, Chinese, uh, Malay, uh, and so on. Uh, so that's the the the, the challenge uh, of the yeah, NLP. Like, yeah, it's like Manglish, Singlish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, that uh, one is also uh, we have like one in woman in AI. She's also expert in NLP. I think she's doing the research for the Singlish and Manglish actually. Wow. So this one is much more difficult. Even me myself also. I was thinking like if I want to really be very good in NLP, maybe I need to understand the syntax of every language. I need to understand yeah. how it's being done, like how the words is being constructed. Okay, yeah, I hope yeah, this yeah, answered yeah, your question, Jason. So we have two, three more questions, uh, Fridaus. One, okay. The next one will be, what is the difference of RNN and LSTM from just the usual neural networks? Okay, this is a very basic question. We have uh, usual artificial neural networks. I think I would say multi-layer perceptron. And then what is the difference between of this RNN, LSD, LSDM, and this MLP actually? Okay, uh, first, uh, we, if we, uh, we said, we mentioned about the, the very basic is uh, CNN. Uh, CNN, uh, 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 all these types, CNN, uh, RNN, and, and LSDM can, can be used and In NLP, in, in, uh, in NLP uh, process, but the different is uh, how accurate or how the how the output that we can get, because the the every algorithm have a, a different uh, a mechanism, uh, such as uh, CNN only can uh, uh, get get or my uh, or give the meaning uh, for the sentences just for uh, uh, what we said uh, the the neighbor text only which is such as uh, you and i uh, you and i uh, cnn can process three three word only but it, the uh, the cnn cannot produce uh, cannot process uh, for for the, the the whole sentences which is usually we have a uh, 10 words or uh, uh, more than that okay Okay, for the uh, R R N N, just I uh, just I said before, it can process a uh, sequence, uh, but the the problem is if uh, the 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 word have a uh, many uh, the sentences have many words such as a uh, 20 and 100 and so on, uh, the the meaning or the accuracy will decrease. That's the the gradient problem. Uh, uh, also, or to make uh, easy way to uh, to understand is. Uh, the the long term dependency and uh, the the sentences uh, to have the uh, we to understand the context of the and uh, uh, sentences we must understand the whole word they have in the sentences so LSTM overcome that problem uh, the LSTM can have many notes they can duplicate because they uh, they uh, the researcher innovate to input the time uh, features there so. Uh, we can use as long as we can uh, want to use uh, to use, but uh, the the LSTM also have the uh, disadvantage. Okay, uh, the, the 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 main disadvantage for LSTM is the process will consist of uh, a may, uh, many time. They take so long time to process the we uh, to we get the result. Okay, I hope uh, I, I answer like the question. In a very simple words mm -hmm. uh, lstm is a long short term memory so words is like a memory you have yeah. to, like for example woman in ai is a non profit do tank but if you do it mm -hmm. in cnn cnn just have like maybe like very short one like you just know do tank and then like cnn mostly is going to be used in image uh, ah, yeah. but mm -hmm. not like if It's a very usual neural networks like multi-layer perceptron. Multi-layer mm. perceptron will usually be done in the tabular data like classification, regression, because it just has neuron that will identify the previous neuron by using the bias and, and, and the weights actually. So it's totally different between the RNN and LSPM. 
I yeah, hope yeah. this answer your question, uh, Raf Martin. So we have a few more questions from Brian. So the first one, I guess like this question will be, how did the researchers gather the training data set? Are the ground proof already level or they had to manually level them? So I also want to ask this question uh, regarding this paper actually, because how do they identify the abusive comments? Is it like they label it by themselves or they have someone to label it? Or they just like query from this sentence, oh, the words like bad people is considered as abusive. And so hopefully you can try to answer this question. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... Yeah, uh, actually, this also uh, co uh, my concern. Okay, uh, in this paper, uh, the researcher not not mention how the uh, how the 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 data is labeling. Okay, but uh, from several paper that I have read also, they have a uh, several technique that can be used uh, to to label the 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 type of the uh, sentences. Uh, first is uh, crowdsourcing. Uh, this technique uh, using by several researcher, uh, the the data just uh, put in the, in the uh, some uh, website if I'm not mistaken, and the processing will uh, uh, will label if the the sentences is I will see for not okay. Uh, the and uh, another part is uh, we can uh, uh, you you can we can uh, ask uh, several expertise. Uh, Maybe uh, expert in in language uh, and uh, several researcher to to label this data, okay? Uh, and the the the, uh, the third part, uh, the third uh, uh, technique is a snow snowball technique lah, which is the 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 researcher will uh, label by uh, uh, her or himself, but it's a very uh, hard work to label uh, every sentences and uh, yeah, we can yeah. we can see there we the, the data have uh, a hundred thousand uh, more data okay so that's why we have this kind of people that call a job called data annotator or data curator so mm, it's not yeah. only the researcher lah, mostly in industry also we need someone to actually uh, label this kind of words whether this is abusive mm. or not then you can do classification yeah. but in rnn lstm maybe you don't need that so what i usually do industry is like i try to identify which word and extract those keywords if those keywords are found in this data set then i will label it as a like maybe uh bad or not bad something yeah, like yeah. that mm -hmm. so that's the mm -hmm. only way that we can do it mm. Mm. Okay. okay, so I hope this answer your question. The next one will be: Are you are you classifying? I think like this. Are uh, this researcher classifying the sentiment of a words or phrases or sentences? Is either words, phrases, or sentences? What do this researcher focus on actually in this paper? Okay, this uh, uh, just uh, I mentioned before. The 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 this researcher just uh, get the data from. Uh, Kegel, okay. Uh, if we if if we can see the the data at the Kegel, the data actually have a label, abusive or not abusive. So uh, as I read from this paper, uh, I see the this researcher just uh, using um, how the uh, what the label that have been labeled into the sentences. So uh, they are not they not uh, explain uh, if the uh, they're using the word or uh, phrases. Uh, that's what I read from this paper. Lah. Okay. So I think like this researcher maybe need to work in the industry then they can understand how to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... That, that, that's the how industry... Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. If you see the real data, it's not totally uh, totally different from Kegel. Lah. Okay, yeah, the course. next one from Brian. Can you model, can the model, I think, handles mixed language comment? and comment with slangs or short-term abbreviations. Oh, this is the most difficult part, actually. Okay, maybe uh, Fridaus can help to answer. Okay, uh, that, that's, uh, that's uh, the, the hard part, lah, actually, uh, Mr. Brian, uh, your, your, from, your answer, from your question. Actually, uh, me as a student, uh, uh, I think, uh, actually, we can uh, we can combine all the technique to, to take the slang and so on, but the pre-processing part will uh, uh, using a lot of time there also. But if we really want to make the accurate accurate uh, accurate result, uh, that part must be done because we know the 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 
the uh, the actually a type of language data is not straightforward. Uh, maybe if a, a mix of language, maybe they have a, some uh, uh, out of vocabulary word O O V yeah, out of vocabulary word. Uh, that's the the challenge in NLP. Okay. Uh, I hope I can answer this. Yeah, this one is like. I think like most of them, most of the people, the researchers, they're trying to build a library. Like what is this uh, short form is actually, if we turn it into a correct sentence, what is about? I think the one that is very matured, usually this one we call as like whether this sentence is grammatically correct or not, then we can consider, we can do some sort of sentiments or whatsoever. So this one, like, I think the Grammarly, doing it very well if I know that most of you using Grammarly to correct your grammar in English. But then if they have mixed language comment, so if we as engineers, what we do is like we just discard those that are not like English language. <laughs> so, but there's a lot more processing that we need to do. La. It's quite difficult. So that's yeah. why there's a lot yeah. of researchers that we mainly see English and whatsoever. So, okay. So I hope this answered your question, Brian. Then the next one we have from Jason also. How do you reduce human bias when doing the classification? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, about the about the bias. Okay. Actually, uh, 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 I uh, I uh, myself a student at the Settlement Analysis Lab at UKM. My my SV or my supervisor said, um, uh, if we get the uh, result. In the sentiment analysis uh, part, uh, we get the the result uh, neutral is more higher than the negative or positive. There have a problem there because actually human is very biased. Uh, uh, people lah, okay. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, see uh, nat natural uh, out uh, output in the sentiment analysis. We must see the very uh, or, uh, the output very negative or very positive uh, okay uh, for for answer the question uh, actually we cannot um we cannot uh, 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 we cannot reduce uh, human bias uh, per se but we can uh, reduce human bias if we know what the background of the human or the the, the researcher that we want to hire Okay, uh, in this, uh, uh, okay, I, I give an example uh, uh, for easy example. If we know the, the, the political background of certain uh, certain um, researcher or certain person, so we, we, I think we cannot hire them to make, uh, to, 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 to make project with our project because uh, I believe uh, he, he or she will have a, a, some tendency to to bias so what we can say what we can uh, what the, the the way that we can uh using uh this is just from my humble opinion only maybe you all have uh, other opinion okay you can just share with me okay uh we can uh using uh people or teacher that not in that uh, party or that's the political view uh there uh, we can um uh, uh, but, uh, uh, make way the, 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 the bias part, okay? So that, that's uh, my yes. uh, answer. I just want to add one thing, it's like this. That's why we have women in AI, because we want to have a more inclusive AI. We want to reduce the bias, because mm -hmm. you need to have a diverse people when you are labeling the data, when yeah, you right. are providing insects to the data, providing insights of the predicted data. Like for this paper, I think like they want to understand which one is abusive comment and non-abusive comments. Mm. So let's say like you are in a site A and site B, right? Both of you are actually fighting. And then like the abusive comment detector said like whatever A is saying is very bad, it's abusive because this, 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 the one they did detect actually are very supportive to A. So that's why you need to have various people so that like you can have a more diverse uh, results and the data. So that's why we have this lah like, in AI. Okay, so we are almost near to the end. So I will have one last question. 
for Fidaus, which is like, what is the main challenge that these researchers found in this paper? When you read through this paper, what is their main challenge for this paper actually when they do this research? Is it the Indonesian language itself? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, because uh, this researcher only focus on uh, language uh, Indonesia. They have uh, actually the Indonesia part have a uh, very good uh, vocabulary and library, uh, such as they they also have a stemming and so on. Uh, but uh, the challenge part st uh, still in the 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 let uh, me say the new new. Uh, new term or new word that happened the the exist in the Indonesian part so that's the the the, the hard part um, uh, okay I, I give the example uh, example in 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 Malaysia part uh, before this we have a um, uh, word uh, a word um because the, the bad word lah but as uh, I I see the the tendency of the people uh, Malaysia Malaysia people they are tra translate or make the <clears throat> the word is um uh from uh, right to right to left they are, they are, they are, they, are, they combine the the word so uh the words we can see they they have a uh, exist as a new word as a abusive word so uh, the the challenge is uh for this paper i see uh, the new the new word the new word that that have a uh, no uh, exact def definition is the uh, the word meaning is abusive or not uh, that's I see lah uh, understood understood thank you very much for those I think like for the Indonesian language itself I think like right now we have like a lot of Malaysians NLP researchers that are currently building the language model called Malaya so if you want to have a research on Indonesian or Malay language mm. because Malay and Indonesia is quite similar uh, in their language, but some slang are not dif uh, like quite different. Some words may have different meaning, but you can use the Malaya library. <coughs> but if you want to have English, like we have a lot of libraries mm -hmm. in the world, like Bird, Transformer, all of them are focusing on English. I think like they have also for Mandarin and whatsoever. So thank you very much, Firdaus. Yeah. So before we end our session, I would like to promote our next week's session. Yeah. We will have our Dr. Sharifah Sakina, which is our VP of uh, Education in Women in Malaysia. She's also the Associate Professor of Department in, of Indian Computing and ICE of uh, Faculty of ICT in University Technical Malaysia, Melaka. So next week, we are going to talk about clustering algorithm. So if you are interested, to understand on how the cluster works because like clustering is such sort of like unsupervised learning and also pre-processing part before you do any AI model whatsoever. So please register in the QR code here. Uh, you can let me, I think like we can, yes, I think like we can, uh, let me try to get the link. Uh, you can, I will paste the link into the chat. So you can also register there. So let's see you guys again next week on 8 p.m. Uh, next week and then follow us in LinkedIn, Facebook uh, and of course if you have feedbacks on all of what we are doing here you can just uh, email us in y underscore apac at womeninai.co Malaysia, Women in Malaysia also we have our own which is Malaysia at womeninai.co or you can and all of these video recordings will be uploaded into our YouTube account of Women in AI Asia Pacific. So, and we are also looking for volunteers for Women in AI Asia Pacific, our front-end developers, and also communication coordinators and video editors. So, if you are, if you would like to join us, feel free to email us in womeninai.y underscore apac at womeninai.co. What is the YouTube link? Uh, you can search for Women in AI Asia Pacific, actually. Then you may find it. Mm, okay. Women in AI Asia Pacific. And then, thank you very much. So, feel free to key in this uh, survey form. I will copy this link in the tab also. Maybe we can have like YAPAC to help to uh, paste the Y uh, YouTube link in the chat as well. So, thank you very much everyone. Have a very uh, good day, good night. And then see you guys uh, next week in the same day, Saturday on 8 p.m. Malaysia time, Singapore time, Taiwan time. Thank you very much.
you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for everything. I hope I can learn much from you all. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>